And our next company is going to change your home. Please welcome out the CEO of Birdie, Mark Valinsky. Good morning, everyone. Breathing is the most important thing that we do. And yet, we don't know much about the air quality that we're taking in every day. The EPA says that the indoor air quality is actually two to eight times worse than the outdoor air quality. And we all know that the air quality is pretty bad. So what can we do about it? That's what Birdie's here to change. We're here to improve the air around us. So we have an app where you can pull up what is the air quality anywhere in Europe, US, China. And today, the air quality here is OK. But in San Francisco, over the past few weeks, it's actually been worse a few days here than Beijing. And we've been hearing a lot about the air quality in Beijing. So we'll tell you through our API and app whether to open up a window or, air, or buy an air purifier. But we started thinking, what about a hardware device? Where can we actually put this in the home? And luckily, there's already a device that's ugly and hated. And so we decided, why not replace it? So we're more than a smoke detector. We have learning algorithms that make it one of the highest performing carbon monoxide and smoke detectors that are on the market. But also, we are there for people. It's about your spouse's asthma. It's about your kid's allergies. These are real conditions that we're out to fix. So let me show you how it works. Instead of setting a small fire in this beautiful new space, we thought Liam might not appreciate that. So we're going to use a uh, smoke in a can, which is what firefighters use. Uh, I'm not sure how they stuck it in there, but. <laughs> so we're going to have a little bit of smoke. And then all of the uh, devices start to go off. We have our connected hue bulbs that also show uh, us that there's some sort of an issue. And Oh, sorry, I'm getting a phone call from the smoke detector. So I'm going to answer the call and say whether it's an emergency, false alarm, or if I don't know. So I'm going to say here on the app that I'm not sure. I'm going to say on the phone that it's an emergency. So once we say that it's an emergency, now the devices all start going off, showing that it's an emergency and the, all the lights in the house turn red. So there's no way that you can't know that there's an emergency. And we go even further. We're the only app on the market that also lets you turn off the device right from your phone. So you never have to worry about burning toast and having the annoying thing go off and actually airing it out. You just quiet it right from the phone. So the market here is actually really unique because it's legally required in every home to have at least five devices. And that's an upgrade from recent uh, regulations. The average house actually only has two. And according to the National Fire Protection Agency, about 70% of these devices don't actually work because people have removed the batteries. That's dangerous and a problem. But we're not targeting the whole market. We're targeting the people who are the decision makers. It's the young moms who are in control of the safety and health of the home. So we're going after them because they're the point decision makers uh, who are going to be purchasing these devices as they're having new kids and building out the new home that they want to live in. And we're going through the distributors that are actually selling the smart home products. So right now we have the <coughs> platforms. Um, the platform players have actually approached us and said that there's a missing vertical within their system, and they have come to us and said they're actually really interested to both address air quality, but also have a beautiful smoke detector. Now, while that's the main part of our revenue stream, we're also looking into partnering with the uh, San Francisco city government. We're in negotiations with them to make this a model air quality city so that we can all breathe a little easier here in Silicon Valley. We also have a services back end. Uh, affiliate referrals through Amazon and insurance companies and more. Now, not only are we the only device that does air quality, we have a sleek and modern design, but also behavioral algorithms. And we're not Google. And we think that this is actually a huge advantage 
Because Google playing a platform play against the other major players means that they're no longer going to be integrated into the systems that are selling the smart home, de uh, smart home devices. And so we really have this unique opportunity right now to really run. So the team consists of my co-founder, Justin. He was actually at Google, and now he's uh, leading hardware as our electrical engineer and, um, and all the rest. Myself, I come from a privacy and security background, so I was working on building encryption technologies and most recently was CTO of Peter Gabriel's new project, The Toolbox. We have a number of other uh, designers, programmers, and other people helping us to really bring this product to the market. And already we've had a lot of market success. We are running an Indiegogo campaign. We still have two weeks left. And I'm excited to announce that we actually just broke through our campaign goal today, which is huge and exciting news. Thank you so much. And we've also had an outpouring of support from both tech press and consumer press that has really just been extremely exciting. So um, Birdie is now trying to really take this product to market. And what we're looking for is a seed round so that we can get into all of your homes and make all of your lives a little bit healthier, a little bit safer, and a little bit better. So thank you so much, and please check out our booth later. Thank you very much, Mark.